We continue to track developing news in the quest for the World Cup. And I hate to break the news to you, but the oh. U.S. has just lost a heartbreaker to Belgium in extra time, 2-1, to one, the game ending moments ago. And the match featured starting defender Jeff Cameron of Attleboro. Yeah, I would assume reporter Todd Wallace actually got to watch the game with his family. He joins us live in Attleboro right now. Hi, Todd. Yeah, Shannon and Steve, um, the family's a little deflated right now, understandably, but just moments ago, you could really feel that nervous energy and excitement as the Cameron family watched son and brother Jeff Cameron and all of Team USA take on Belgium. At this house in Attleboro, oh! the Cameron family has a very personal reason to go for Team USA in the World Cup. I think he's doing fabulous. Very proud of him. He's working hard out there, doing a good job. He is Jeff Cameron, the son of very proud parents Diane and Scott. The hard work, the dedication, discipline, and desire that he has put in for the last 20 years to get to where he's at today is very rewarding. Scott says Jeff and the entire U.S. team were ready for the battle with Belgium. There is just something that bond between these guys uh, for a common accomplishment, a common goal, and um, it's pretty special. The family, including Jeff's sisters, Daryl Lynn and Beth Ann, say Jeff has a little extra incentive for this game. You get a goal in the World Cup, I'll get a tattoo. I didn't tell them how big and I didn't tell them where, but... <laughs> But Scott didn't say what kind of tattoo he would have gotten. Nevertheless, guys, you are proud, right? Absolutely. Very proud. All right. And as always, next time, right? Reporting live in the southeast of Massachusetts, Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.